Hey guys, it's Leo with the Dreaming Tree, and in this video, we're gonna put together the super cute Valentine's Day Ladybug mailbox. And it's basically just two heart shapes. Uh, the top one has a hole cut out of it so that we can kind of anchor our cute little ladybug on top, and there's a little slot for those cute little um, Valentines that you get at the grocery store that come in packs of like 24. Um, so this is perfect for um, a kid for Valentine's Day when they go to school to get their little Valentines. And I've seen so many other ideas that you guys have posted since we posted the trailer. Um, could be a little piggy bank. Um, actually, that'd make a really cute bank and, and dollar bills would fit in there perfectly as well as coins. So, um, you know, whatever you want to use it for, I'm sure it would work wonderfully. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the pieces that we have here and how they go together. Now, in front of me here, I have the main body of the ladybug, okay? So let's just kind of go through the pieces real quick here. You'll notice that um, as far as the body goes, we have uh, numbers on the tabs at the end here, one, two, three. There's a little circle that's four, and then five is a circle with a, a little one under it, okay? So these all go together in this order. These are the panels that correspond with these pieces. So if you're confused at all, just take the panel and just kind of put it on top of the actual body part, uh, the structure piece to ensure that you've got the right piece. And um, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so that is the body. Now let's go over the rest of the pieces here just so that you know what's what. And I do suggest kind of, um, grouping everything together so you know what goes where after you have everything cut out, okay? Um, these pieces here with the holes, obviously these go on top, uh, the top part of the box, okay? We'll be using that later on. Um, there's a bunch of hearts like this, and these go on top of the um, panels for the ladybug. Those are just little embellishments. We have all these little flowers that go around the box itself, okay? And there's quite a few shoe pieces that look like this, okay? So you can see what the shoe pieces look like. There's a bottom shadow layer, which we did in this light blue, and then there's the top layer that goes on top of that, and then the shoelace layer that goes on top of that. So kind of get all those together, okay? Um, we've got two panels that go along the top, or along the sides, I should say, of the top of the box, okay? And there's this piece here, and this is just to kind of reinforce the slot. We're gonna glue that to the inside of the ladybug. And then we have um, the main structures, okay? So these two pieces here are for the top of the ladybug because they have the hole in them. One has a little L on it, that is your liner. That is what we're gonna to use to actually form the structure, okay? And then we have strips like this. You'll see that the letter T is scored into these tabs here, that is the top of the box. So that you're gonna group these with that, okay? And then the other strips have the letter B scored into them. And the two hearts that go with that, one with an L, one without, obviously do not have the hole in them because they're just um, the bottom of the box, okay? So we've got all that. And then last but not least, there's the head of the um, ladybug and it's made up of these pieces here, okay? So these little black pieces here are the head part or the hair, I would, I would call it the hair, okay? So anyway, we'll get to that here in a second. But let's start with the assembly of the bottom of our box. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these two pieces here. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this strip. And the first thing we're gonna do actually is we're going to train this a little bit because we wanna kind of get it into position. Now you see where these tabs here are smaller as far as the width and then they get a little bit wider as you go down here. The smaller section is the um, is this part of the heart, the front, okay? And where the tabs are wider, it's the back. So we just wanna kinda of take this like this 
and train it to kind of form like a heart shape a little bit, okay? So it's gonna be like that. <clears throat> and we're gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna grab this and just train it, train it more towards the end with the larger tabs to kind of give it that half heart shape, okay? And what we can go ahead and do is glue these two tabs together. And I'm just gonna put glue here. Okay, now probably should have folded this first. And I want to take some of that glue and get it out to the edge so that we can get a nice seamless edge. Okay, let me get that out to the edge there. It helps if you have like a wet paper towel if you're doing that so that you can get the glue off your finger so you don't start getting glue all over the place. Okay, so you just wanna kinda of glue that down and then once it has its initial hold, I would suggest folding it in half on top of itself because all these tabs should meet, meet up and almost look seamless, almost like you just have one layer here. Okay, that's how you know that you've got it glued correctly. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this tab, I'm gonna put glue on my texture side here. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit out to the edge and I'm gonna use my finger to kind of smear that out to the edge there. And then you can actually just lay this flat and glue it down like that. Let's get it lined up. And just go ahead and push it down. It should lay completely flat like this. That's how you know you've got it right. Okay. And again, this part up here is gonna fold in like this. Okay. So there's your heart shape. All right, and what we can do at this point while that's drying is take all these tabs and just fold them down. Now I actually took a little um, a little folder, or I don't even know what these things are called. They're like little clips basically. And I'm just clipping that just to kind of help train it while I'm getting everything ready. Um, what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna start by putting glue on just like the first, the first here, I'm gonna point them out from here. These two, let me see if you can see that. This tab here and this tab here, and then these two tabs here, okay? Just to kind of anchor the heart, and then the rest of it's gonna to go together really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I showed you which tabs they are. It might be difficult for me to show you while I'm doing it, but after I put the glue down, I'll show you again. Okay, so those two tabs there and those first two tabs there. Okay, I'm gonna slip the liner in there. Okay, and I'm gonna just make sure that those first four tabs get a good grip. Okay, because that's gonna hold this area of resistance together for us so that it doesn't try to come apart. Okay, so you can see here, these first four tabs, they are all in place, and you can see that the heart's really holding its shape now. So all that's left to do now is just to kind of go around and just, you could probably do, I don't know, as many as you think you can do. Um, as far as the next set of tabs go, just gonna go ahead and put glue down just little dots of glue. I'm gonna say maybe, I don't know, I'm doing five on that side and then five on this side, okay? And then I'm gonna fold them in and then I'm gonna put this down on my table. I'm gonna stand up here just to make my life easier. And I'm just gonna push down to get those tabs to stick. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the heart's really starting to take its shape here and the rest of the process is just uh, rep repetitive, basically, doing the same thing I just did where we're just putting little dots of glue on the rest of these tabs. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna repeat that same process here. Just gonna flip up maybe, I don't know, just as many as you think you can handle. And I'm just gonna put little dots of glue 
on these little tabs here. And if you want to just do one side at a time, that's fine. I kind of would rather do um, a few on each side just to make sure that I'm kind of anchoring this equally as I go around. Okay, so and then just push in, push in from the outside and then push down from the inside just to get all that stuff to hold. All right, so that looks great. Everything is nice and in place, very sturdy structure. Um, and what we can do at this point is take the bottom of the heart and get that glued into place. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a really thin line of glue in the center here. I don't want it to warp the paper or show through. And then I'm gonna put a nice line of glue towards the edge. And this is where if you've got, you know, if you wanna use your finger or if you find some other tool to sort of spread that glue out to that edge, just really, I think it helps the glue from globbing out. And it also just really creates a nice tight uh, seam that just looks nice. It's almost like, almost like it's not even paper, okay? So you gotta act quick because this glue does dry quick and just get it nice and aligned and just push down all the way around and get that in place. And if you get it right, your seam should look pretty much like that. I've got a little bit of glue there that still just needs to dry. Uh, but that is pretty much it for the base of our little box here, okay? So you can put this aside, this is complete. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and basically repeat the same process with the top of the box, um, with the exception of you know the hole that we have cut out of it. So this one might actually be a little bit easier because you can get your fingers in from the top. Okay, so we have the base of our little mailbox done. So let's move on to the top of it, which again is pretty much the same process. Uh, we're gonna take these two strips with the letter T etched into it or scored into it. And again, the area here with the smaller teeth, that is the front of our little mailbox here, okay. So again, let's just train this along the edge of our table, just to kind of give it that natural heart-shaped curve. Okay, we're gonna do that with both pieces. I'm just gonna run that along my table. And we're gonna connect these just as we did the first two. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on that tab there. And again, I should have folded that first and I'm going to put a little thin line along the edge that I'm going to go ahead and kind of smear it on there just to kind of give us a nice, nice tight seam and just get that glued into place. Okay, so that looks really good and we're going to go ahead and take this tab here and put glue on this guy. And again, just kind of spread that glue out to the end there to make this nice and tight as well. And I'm going to push down, get that glued into place, make sure it's nice and lined up. Take a look at your teeth here, make sure that those are sitting nice and nicely on top of each other. Okay, and it should be able to lay flat. That's how you know that you've got it perfectly aligned. Okay, there we go. So give that a few seconds more to dry. And again, this is the front or the tip of the heart. This is the back that's gonna fold in like this. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to kind of anchor it. I'm gonna use a little clip here. Just to kind of hold this in place for a second. And grab this piece here with the little L on it. Okay, that's our liner. So the process is gonna be exactly the same. Um, we're just going to glue these tabs to the liner and that's going to create the top of our box. Okay, so I'm going to take that off now and kind of did this last time. 
where I wasn't patient enough with this little area here. And I didn't give it enough time to dry. So I'm going to go in and fix that mistake. And again, you can go ahead and take all these little tabs and fold them down. And I'm going to flip this over and I am going to go ahead and put glue on the first four tabs, two on each side. Okay. Kind of went a little crazy with it there. And kind of get it shaped like a heart. Pop your liner in there. Make sure it's above the tabs. And push those two, those first two into place to anchor everything into place here. That's really going to set the tone for the rest of the box here. And as you can see, these first four tabs are nice and anchored. Okay, so initially, as we did with the last box, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do four on each side and get that anchored in just to kind of maintain a symmetry going around. Okay, and then as you get towards the, the tip there, it's probably less important, but for this stage, we definitely want to kind of make sure that everything maintains a symmetry. So I added glue on each side to the next four tabs and I'm pushing from the outside and pushing down from the inside to get those tabs to really stick. And let's take a look at that. Okay, that looks great. I do have a little bit of glue squeezing out of there, but that's all going to be covered up. So don't, don't worry too much about that. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. And I think that the further away you get from the centerpiece, I think the more tabs you can feel comfortable gluing down simultaneously. Um, so I'm going to try to do maybe, I don't know, six on each side now, because I feel like, I feel like this thing's got a pretty good foundation at this point and I'm feeling kind of crazy. Feeling kind of risky. Okay, then we flip it back over, pushing from the outside to help form that wall while pushing down from the inside. Okay, let's get over to the other side here. And while you're doing this, when you're looking in here, try to make sure that you don't see any light seeping through there. That if there's, if you see light, probably means that this wall isn't flush with this liner here. Okay, so do your best to kind of get that as tight as possible. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, at this point, just go ahead and finish it up, just like we did the first time. And we can go ahead and do a little bit of embellishing on this piece before we get our ladybug in place. Okay, so this is what the top should look like at this point. And if you take a look, a closer look here, you can see that all these tabs are nice and flush um, and glued in nicely. And just at this point, maybe just double check and make sure that the top slides on to the bottom perfectly. And you can actually probably leave it on here like this for now while we work on adding some of the embellishments. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we do want to get this glued into place. Okay, so you're going to glue that on like so. And just like we did with the bottom, we do want to make sure that we get some glue out to the edge as close as possible without going over, just to make sure that we have a nice tight seam there. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the actual structure first. And don't want it too thick because we don't want it to warp the paper. Okay. And I'm going to go around again. Just make sure that I get enough out there. And I am going to use my finger to kind of dress the edge so that we get a nice clean look. When this thing's all glued down. Okay. Go ahead and glue that into place and you can use the little cutout as a guide. And of course you've got the perimeter of the hearts that you can also use as a guide. Now here's a helpful little tip. Um, 
I've actually found that sometimes, let me show you here, you see how I did a really good job here, but this little area here didn't glue down perfectly. Well, what you can do is you can actually do this with a spatula. Um, I've done this with a spatula or I have a pick me up tool. Okay. And it's got a really nice little flat little edge there. So what you can do is let me just put a little bit of glue on a piece of paper or whatever, and just grab a little bit of glue with the tool spatula works really great because it's very flat and you can kind of stick it in between really thin areas and you can just kind of lift this up a little bit and just smear some glue on the upper part of it and then push down and hold it until it gets a really good hold. And I'll show you the difference here in a second. It just really polishes those pieces up. So, you know, as much as I'd love for all this stuff to go together, one, two, three, sometimes little sections and little parts do need a little extra tender love and care. And you can see the difference now. It's so much more seamless. So if you have a little area like that where you didn't get a nice clean seam, like here, it's, it's actually, it's okay here, but I could technically go in and clean it up a little bit. I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue on this little tool, lift it up and just smear some glue on the underside of it and then push down and hold it in place to really get it to dry and look nice. And there you go. So you see how much more seamless that looks now. You can really make these things perfect if you just take your time. So look how far we've come. Um, this thing's looking really nice. It's really clean, um, fits perfectly. And at this point we can do a little bit of embellishing. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and start putting together the actual ladybug. So at this point, what we can do <clears throat> is, and um, I'm just gonna walk you through this really quick. These two pieces here, this purple piece here is gonna go down first. And again, all you wanna do is just make sure that you're following the little cutout here, okay? So we can go ahead and get that glued down. That'll just take a second. And I'm just going to glue it down really quick just to anchor it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get your glue out to the edge there and that you get a nice, a nice clean hold so it's not lifting up on any of the sides. But I'm just gonna put this on real quick just to show you where it goes. And then this piece here is gonna go right on top of that, okay? Now, in our final one, let me bring it into the shot here. You can see we did a little bit of light inking on this doily heart piece. And this just kind of give it a little bit more interest. You can do that or you don't have to do it. If you have some paper that kind of speaks for itself and can hold its own, then you obviously don't need to do any inking. Okay, so we're gonna get that in place. So that's where that goes. And for those of you that are savvy, or actually you don't really need to be too savvy, and I may do a follow-up video on this. Technically, this box, if you black this out in sure cuts a lot, you can just make a box that looks like this and it won't have the hole in it. So maybe I should do a quick video on how to do that, should you wanna use this as just a heart-shaped box. Um, but with that said, that is pretty much it for that. Um, now we can go ahead and take a look at these little panels here. And these panels are going to get glued to the heart on the outside like this, okay? Um, so they're actually symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which side goes where. Okay, so, but what you do wanna do before you apply it is I would lightly run it against my table here to give it that little curve so that it kinda, kinda sticks better, okay? So that's what that piece should look like, okay? And obviously you wanna hold it in place while it dries for a little bit longer than I did, okay? So that's how that works. You're gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay, let me put this thing back on top. And then we do have a series of flowers that we glued in between these hearts, okay? And you've got two of them here, one smaller, one bigger. And what we did was we took like a little skewer or um, something with a really thin diameter and just kind of curled them out, curled these petals out, okay? We also inked them, a little bit of ink, so you can have some fun inking your flowers, okay? And you're just gonna glue that just like that 
onto your piece, okay, on all six of the hearts. So you should have six of these flowers, which we do. So you're going to glue those in place. And then once you have those glued in place, we've got another smaller flower that we've glued to the inside or to the center of the larger flower. Okay, and again, do a little bit of inking on these so you can glue these together, kind of offset them a little bit and then glue those on to the hearts. Okay, and on our final version, on the exterior here, let me just show you real quick. Um, we did put a little purple rhinestone in the center and we added some additional heart-shaped rhinestones all over the box just to kind of give it a little bit more, a little bit more fun. Okay, so that is that. And at this point, we can go ahead and start putting together our ladybug. Okay, so we're almost done. We've got the box put together. And at this point, we can go ahead and begin working on our ladybug. So I've got the main structural pieces of the ladybug laid out here. And you'll notice that there are a set of numbers at the top. We already talked about that. Now, before we do anything else, we want to go ahead and make sure that we fold all the little areas here at the score marks. And that is just going to ensure that everything goes together nicely and that it takes the shape that we intended it to take. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Get all these prepped. They're just folding at the score marks. Okay. And assembling this thing is going to be pretty straightforward. It's just a little time consuming because you've got to do each little tab and give it ample time to dry, but it's not difficult at all. As long as you can follow these instructions, yours is going to look perfect. I'm sure of it. Okay. So again, just go down the low, go down the row and fold everything at the score marks. Okay, and then we can go ahead and start putting this thing together. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the piece with the number one on it, and then let's grab its neighbor, the piece with the number two on it, Roman numeral two. Okay, and I'm gonna begin by just putting glue on this first tab here and gluing it to its neighbor and just follow the natural curve there. Just make sure that you've got it butting up against that score mark there and just hold that in place while it dries. And just give it a few extra seconds before you move on to the next tab. So go ahead and put glue on this tab here. Kind of get that out of the way so we don't get glue on the neighboring piece and just glue that in place and just follow the lines. Just make sure that you've got this piece matching up with the, the score mark on this next piece. Okay. And you can actually probably start putting glue on the next tab while you're holding the one you just finished with your other hand so that you can kind of make some quicker progress with this. Okay. So there you go. And we are going to be covering these up with panels. So if a little bit of glue comes out, it's not the end of the world. Okay. And now those tabs on the left side of the first piece, those were actually going to be used to anchor to the actual box. So those are not going to get glued to another piece like this. Those are for anchoring. Okay. So you see how this thing's starting to come together and I'm just going to work my way down the, down the line here. It's pretty straightforward. But it is very important that you fold all these pieces at the score marks. Otherwise, this thing is going to fight you and not take on the shape that we intended it to take. So that is a really key thing to remember that you fold all these pieces before you start gluing. Otherwise, it's going to be more difficult. Okay, so go ahead and just continue down the row and just make sure that you've got them nice and lined up. Okay, grab that last piece there. Get that glued down. And your first section 
is done. Okay, now these tabs down here, these are also for anchoring. These are not gonna be glued to any of these pieces here. Okay, all right, so, and again, as far as the anchoring goes, these are gonna be glued to the inside of that box. So these are gonna go like this. Okay, that is the first side of your little um, ladybug. Okay, so we're simply going to repeat this process. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this structure number three with the three little tick marks on it. Okay, and just follow that curve. Make sure that you've got this nice and aligned. Okay, just hold that in place. This one's probably the most important, that first one, just to kind of set the tone and make sure that everything else falls into place. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the next piece and just glue that in place. There we go. All right, and just keep on going down the row here. That. There we go. And I kind of just flipped it upside down because it's a little bit easier to get my finger in there. Okay, so this is fairly repetitive um, and I'm not gonna make you sit through this because I don't really have much else as far as input to give you on this segment here. So we're gonna finish this one up. I'm gonna start the next one, but I think at this point, you're gonna be okay as far as the assembly goes because again, all you're doing is just matching up these pieces here and getting your glue in place and just connecting the neighbor to its neighbor. Just make sure that again, you're following the natural curve that, that we've kind of intended with the design and everything will sort of fall into place. Okay, so I'm gonna do the last one here. We'll start on the next one and then we'll kind of meet up after this guy is all assembled. Okay. There we go. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab piece number four and we're just gonna repeat that process all the way down and get that glued into place. And then the last one's gonna get glued here. So go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you at the next step. Okay, so we have the main structure of our little uh, ladybug all complete. Now this is where the head this is where the head's gonna go. And what we need to do is just finish it off by gluing this little piece right on to there. And we do wanna begin by anchoring that piece with just one of the little tabs here. So I'm just gonna put glue on this section here and just glue that first piece in place and make sure that it gets a good grip. So again, um, we are gonna be putting panels on this, so if your construction is subpar as far as getting things a little messy with the glue or whatever, don't worry about it too much. It's all gonna be covered up, so don't need to worry about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these remaining tabs in place here. Okay, and just make sure you follow that line because that's gonna help with the um, uh, shaping the structure here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put glue on these two tabs here and just do your best to get that nice and aligned. And I'm just kinda holding all these together at the same time. Okay. There we go. Just like that. And then we can just go ahead and finish it up with these two tabs here. Like that. And tuck those back under. 
and get that bottom one aligned first, and then get this one in place here. And it's okay if there are little tiny gaps there, that's totally normal. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Now we can go ahead and actually anchor this thing into the box itself. Okay. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to slide those tabs in and we're going to glue them under from the inside. Okay. So we do want to do that now. And this tab here is going to flare out. Okay. And I'm actually going to anchor that first. Okay, so let's flip this over and you can see the inside there. You see that tab, the front tab there. We're going to anchor that in place right there. So I'm going to put glue on this part here, a nice flat line of glue, and stick that through and glue it. Let me see if I can get some light in there for you. I'm just going to glue it to the front there. Just hold that in place while it dries. Let me turn this around in a second here so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Okay, so glue that in place and it should be flush with the front there. Okay, so make sure that that gets a good grip. And then at this point, you can see that all we need to do is get the rest of these tabs glued in place to anchor our ladybug. Okay, so I'm going to start with one side here. I'm going to start with this side here and I'm going to put glue on a couple of these, a couple of these tabs and start getting those to hold. Okay, so you see those two tabs there. I'm going to put glue on those tabs and I'm going to get that glued into place and I'm pushing down from this side here to kind of sandwich that in there. Okay, I'm going to do the next one right next to it. Okay, so I'm pushing down from here and making sure that's nice and flush there. Okay, so you see those two tabs are glued into place. And I'm going to do the other two on the opposite side. So I'll do these two. So we're going to go ahead and put glue on those two tabs there. Okay. And just get that up against. I'm going to flip it over here so you can see. Just pushing that, pushing that tab up and making sure that the ladybug is nice and flush here. And I'm just holding that down. Okay. Just like that. Here we go. And we're just going to follow that process until all these little tabs are glued down. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay, now actually I did forget one little thing. We have this piece here. And this piece is just an extra reinforcement piece for the actual slit so that it doesn't try to close in on itself as much, um, which it really doesn't do if you get this thing and, and, and put it together correctly. So you want to go ahead and crease it at the little score marks. And I'm just going to put glue on the first part of it. Okay. And then just make sure that you have it nice and lined up. Okay. Let me see if I can do this with my left hand here. I'm just going to go ahead and line this up with the hole inside. Okay, just get that first part in place and then the rest of it will fall into place. Just going to put glue on the rest of this thing just to kind of keep this from closing in on itself should it want to do that, but it uh, really shouldn't. But actually, and you know what, if you don't even feel that you need to put this piece on, you can just, you can just um, recycle it or whatever. You may not even need it depending on how your assembly went, you may need it and you may not. Okay, so at this point, we can go ahead and begin putting our liners on this piece, okay? And as you can see, we've got one end that is flat, the other end 
is pointy, the flat end is going to go here. Okay. So you see what that's doing is it's just kind of hiding the boxy look of our ladybug. Okay. So make sure that you've got these pieces um, in the correct order or in the correct location. Okay. So just kind of eyeball which piece goes where before you actually put it on. And what I would suggest doing is taking these and training them. So take your piece and grab it by both ends and just run it across your desk, the edge of the desk to kind of give it a natural curve. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place just a little bit of glue on the end here and then a little bit of glue on the end here. Okay. And we're going to glue that into place, just making sure that it's nice and flush with the front. Hold that down for a second while it dries. And then take and wrap it around and then just hold both the front and the back like so. Okay. Until that gets a good hold. And so again, I'm just going to repeat that process with this panel here and then the next panel down there and so on and so forth. So again, just make sure that you take this and run it along the edge of your desk to kind of give it that natural curve. Okay. And we're just going to put glue on the edge here and on the bottom here, just on both ends, I should say, and get that in place. Make sure it's nice and flush with the front, wrap it around. Let me hold that down for a second to make sure that it really gets a good grip and then wrap it around and hold it down in the back until it grips. Okay. So I'm not going to do the other three because it's the same exact process. You get the idea. Okay. And now as far as the embellishments go, um, for our ladybug, we have the hearts which you can pretty much place anywhere you want. Once you get all these panels on, you can go ahead and glue them um, wherever you want. I can show you how we did ours. Okay. So we've got hearts kind of all over it like that. So you kind of want to just replicate what you see there. Okay. They don't have to be in the same order, obviously. And then we also have her cute little shoes and I'll show you how those go together. Okay. Okay, so aside from the cute little hearts that we have on here, we did make the ladybug some Converse shoes. I don't know if they're Converse, but that's what one person commented and said they looked like. So um, take a look at the shoes here. We have three layers. There's like a shadow offset layer. There's a, a white layer and a black layer. Now my pieces are kind of mixed up. When your piece is cut out on the machine, they're all going to be kind of lined up in the order in which they need to go on top of each other. So uh, the black layer goes on top of the white layer and then that goes on top of the blue layer and the blue layer is offset just a tiny little bit. Um, not offset. I mean, it all glues on perfectly, but the blue layer is going to stick out a little bit. Um, and you can see what that looks like there. You can see the little bit of blue on the left side of the shoe there. Okay. So you're going to put together the shoes like so, and you're just going to glue them down like that. Okay. So you're going to put three on each side. Now let me just show you roughly where we placed ours. Okay. So you get an idea of where it goes. Okay. And you're just going to mirror that on the other side and they are curved. So if it's not precisely exactly in the right spot, it's still going to look okay. So you're going to get your shoes on, uh, the box like so. Okay. And then all that's really left to do at this point is create the head. Okay. So you can see here how I have everything laid out. We've got one, two, three, four, five. These are the panels in the peach color that correspond with these. So make sure you got those laid out. And then here are the hair as I call them pieces and that's where they go. Okay. So I'm just going to move those out of the way. Okay. And just as a side note, we do have um, a set of lips here. Okay. That as you can see, go right here once we have everything done. And we gave her some pretty little eyes with some really um, big 
eyelashes. Okay, so you've got that piece there and you're gonna glue, these are really tiny pieces here. Okay, so if you need to, you may wanna use um, a tool like the Pick Me Up to kind of help you pick up these pieces and add glue and then um, let me show you real quick. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on my paper here to show you how I do this. And this is why the Pick Me Up tool is really handy when it comes to stuff like this. So I'm just gonna lay a little bit of glue down. Okay, so I've got my Pick Me Up tool. Okay, and I have my little, little eyeball on there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on there. Just a tiny little bit. I'm gonna grab the other part of the Pick Me Up tool and I'm going to put that in place. Okay, and then I can grab the, pick, the other part of the pick me up tool and voila. Okay, so it's really handy for using little, little tiny little uh, pieces like this that need some precision. So you just pop a little bit of glue on that eyeball and I lost that piece. in the glue. Okay, and then we're just gonna pop that right in place. There we go. Okay, so there's one of the eyeballs. And let me see if I can, let me pick this up so you can see it in detail. I got a little bit of glue here at the bottom, so don't look at that. Okay, but that's gonna go right there on her head once you're done with that. So you see where the lips and the eyes go. You see how those work. And one other thing too is the pipe cleaner, okay? Now if you take a look closely at the middle section here, you'll see that we do have a series of cutouts, okay, here. Now what you wanna do is maybe poke those out a little bit more. The idea is we wanted to keep it small enough so that there's tension in there so you can literally just poke the pipe cleaner through there and the uh, friction will kind of you know hold it in place okay so you can make these as long as you want i probably took a um, probably good idea to maybe do a third of a pipe cleaner just cut it about a third okay so let's do that i'm just going to cut this okay and you can just take it and kind of curl it and then curl it again Okay, and we took some little pink pom-poms and you can actually hot glue the pom-pom to the end of your little antenna, your little pipe cleaner. Okay, so you just glue that on there like that. And then when you're done, let me show you here, since we poked those little holes and made them a little more pronounced, you can you know, take these and, and just pop it through. I believe that we actually hot glued the inside of that so it wouldn't come out. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and work on the construction of the head. And just like we did with the body, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you fold everything at the score marks, just so that this thing will naturally take on its natural intended shape, okay? And these score marks, instead of going out, they're gonna go in because we're gonna close off the bottom with uh, special piece here in just a second. So, so I'm going to take piece number one and I'm going to join it to piece number two once I get everything folded here. Okay, and these little tabs here, you want to go ahead and fold those in. And I have glue all over my fingers, so if my fingers don't look as good as they did when I first started, that is why. Okay, so I'm just going to put, I'm going to put glue on the first two here. Okay, and I'm gonna get the first section here glued in place. Just make sure that you follow the natural curve of this piece. And this is gonna go together quick because it's really small. So you're using very little glue. It should dry really quickly. Not like the body, which has some bigger tabs on it. Okay, so just work your way down and get each of those little tabs connected to its neighbor. Just make sure that you use your glue kind of sparingly on these pieces here because they are small. They don't need that much. And like I said, it should kind of 
stick together really quick because it's such a small surface area. Okay, so grab your piece number three, get all the tabs folded over. Okay, and then of course, bend at the score mark as well. Otherwise this thing is gonna fight you. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on these first two little tabs here. Okay, and get that anchored in place. And then the rest of it should just kind of fall into place here. It really helps to have a really good light as well, especially when you're working with papers like this that don't contrast very well, so that you can see where the little edge is, where the score marks begin, and so on and so forth. It just really helps you get a more precise end result, because one thing uh, I come to realize after years and years of doing this is that we're working with paper, and you know we're doing our best to kind of recreate this digital design in the form of paper. And more often than not, it's gonna come out looking great, but don't feel bad if you make a mistake because it's, um, it's not always easy. You just have to take your time. I think that's the biggest tip I can give you is just take your time. Okay, so we're about halfway done with this piece, okay? And Again, I'm going to grab the next piece, just fold everything at the score marks, and start putting that together. Okay, so with this one, the tabs are on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and begin just with these two, and get these guys in place, and just hold that down while it dries, get the next one. And again, it is important to kind of um, make those little holes for the antenna, antennae, more pronounced before you put that next layer on. Otherwise, it may be a little difficult to take that pipe cleaner and penetrate that um, later on. So make sure you do that. Okay, so I'm just working my way down here. There's little dabs of glue. I'm just going to do the last four here and get that in place. Now my first one, as you can see, I was impatient and it came undone. So I have to go back and, and fix that. Okay, so we've got four of the five done. And again, being repetitive, I sound like a broken record here, but you're gonna take your last piece, bend the tabs over, fold at the marks to get this thing trained, and we're gonna glue it to our neighbor here. And I'm gonna start with these two tabs to get it anchored. Set the tone for the rest of them. Just make sure that you're doing it at the correct angle. Okay, that looks good. And just hold that in place until it gets a good hold and finish it up. I'm just gonna put glue on the last four pieces here, the last four little tabs. Okay, and again, you might need to bend this thing and shape it a little bit so that you can make these two lines match up so that they're like flush against each other. You don't want the lines overlapping at all. That's how, um, if you follow that, you're gonna get the perfect shape for this thing, which we did, okay? So that is all good. I'm gonna get all of these tabs facing in, as well as this tab, these tabs here with the little numbers that are scored into them, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to apply this piece onto the back to close off the head. And I'm going to begin with just one tab, that center one, because that's gonna set the tone for the rest of them. So get that glued into place. 
Okay, just hold that down for a few seconds while it dries. Okay, and then we can kind of flip it open, like we're popping a trunk open, and put glue on these two tabs here. So let's just do two at a time here. Okay. And get that glued into place. And that's just going to make the back nice and flush and keep this thing nice and sturdy. Okay. And go ahead and put glue on these last two tabs here. And close this shape off. Just make sure that you do your best to get the angles right. Okay. There we go. All right, so last thing to do here is we need to, I should have folded this over before I glued it, because now that tension is gonna pull. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're going to take this piece and glue this onto the bottom, and that's really gonna help define that shape. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by gluing that long piece down first because that's gonna be the easiest. So just glue that down and make sure that you've got it nice and lined up, just like that. Okay, and the reason we put a hole in here is so you can get your finger in there. Okay, and what I'm gonna do here is because these are small, because this is a small piece, I'm gonna put glue on this entire thing and try to do this all in one fell swoop because that is the best way. So I'm gluing this, these front two tabs down first. Okay, so do your best to get your finger in there and hold those tabs down. Okay, that could help possibly just to put it down on the table at this point. Okay, and then you can kind of just adjust the rest of these tabs to make sure that they follow the curve of this piece and then put it down on your table and hold it down while it dries. Okay. And there is your ladybug's head. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that. So, at this point, we can go ahead and take our box and can glue her head right there. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna put glue on this on the bottom of this piece that we just created, that we just glued to the main structure. Okay, and let's get that glued into place. Now, just make sure that you've got it up against the body. Okay, and just push down and hold that in place for a few seconds while it dries just to make sure it doesn't come loose. Okay, make sure you've got it nice and centered here as well. And really all that's left to do is put your panels on. Okay, so again with these, we do want to take these and kind of train them. Do want to train those so that we can get a natural curve. And just like we did with the body, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue at the top. Sometime that bottle has a mind of its own. And then just a little dab on the bottom, all the way at the tip. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top here, hold that down, and then just wrap it around and hold down from the top and the bottom until you're sure that it's secure. Then you can take the black parts, and this one also has some holes in it. So I'm gonna make those a little bit more pronounced as well by just kind of poking it, okay? And let's glue that down. And as you can see, you have to be patient with that and make sure that it sets before you move on. I am kind of rushing in this tutorial here. Put Put this piece on as well. 
Okay, so just hold that in place while it dries. And you're gonna repeat that process for the panels here on, on both sides of the face, obviously. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the face panel on there and we've got the hair on there as well. And I did take the little um, pipe cleaner and pop it into the holes. And again, you may wanna grab like, a, a, I don't know, um, like a, like a thumbtack or a paper clip and just use that to, again, make those little holes a little more pronounced so that when you do go in and pop your pipe cleaner through there, it goes in a lot easier, as you can see. Okay, so, so that's pretty much it. Um, just make sure that you take your time and get your eyeballs and your lips on there. And I actually have a pom-pom that kind of fell off because I didn't hot glue it. I just used a... Um, pop dot, so you want to definitely hot glue that if you want to make it permanent. And um, it's a really cute project, and again, you open it up to reveal all the cute little valentines that your child got, or all the money that your child has been collecting. And so I hope you enjoyed this project, and I cannot wait to see your version of this with your special papers, and would also love to know exactly what you're using it for. and. Um, who's receiving it this Valentine's Day or for whatever occasion um, you decide to give it for. So thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.